Hello everyone, Brian here, bringing you another game of Medal of Honor. This is Team Assault on Kunar Base. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Team Assault. Uh, I really need to try some of the other game types like Domination and, you know, controlling the flags and whatnot. Um, but I really just wanted to try to get a feel for the general gameplay and dynamics and weapon control and everything else in Team Assault. So I figured that would be the easiest place for me to do it. So now that I'm finally starting to get a feel for that kind of stuff, I think next time I put this in, I'm going to try some other game types just to keep things mixed up a little bit for you. And this is definitely the smallest and most congested map in the game. And in, I really uh, did get a decent feel for this map and found a pretty good spot to go hang out, which I, you guys will see in just a little bit. I did rush pretty much immediately up the left side here. As I did play a couple other times uh, on this map earlier and didn't do very well, I tried to hang out behind a crate and just cover one of the main alleyways. And initially I did pretty well, but the enemy team or certain players figured it out pretty quickly what I was doing. And after that I would get maybe like one kill and then die, and then get two kills and die. And if the game the final results really did not turn out as well. So in this game, I pretty much did hang out near the rear of the map, near where the enemy was spawning. I took the high ground, and I did get a pretty good vantage point. And at times, the enemy team was very, very slow to react or respond to what I was doing. And I did get some decent results here. And, I, and this actually did turn out to be my best game so far, playing Medal of Honor. And once you guys do see the final score, I think you will definitely agree that I did put up a pretty good score at the end, considering how hard this game is to play. And I did die, so we're going to make our way right back down to the same area if possible. I said this map is incredibly small. Incredibly small. I would compare it to Rust in Modern Warfare 2. And this was the spot I was talking about, hanging up, hanging out right on top here, and just picking off the enemy team in their spawn. I had a lot of success up here, and the crates that are sitting on top of this bunker or whatever it is give you pretty good cover from any side. Because right back there where I just killed that guy is one of the favorite sniper spots on that side of the map. Then you pretty much get a good vantage point all the way down to the other side, and I did die a lot in earlier games from right there. Not to mention, it looks like the enemy team is spawning back in that corner. So like I said, right there I was getting shot at, so I just, uh, well, I did die. By a sniper rifle. Before I should have moved a little bit quicker around the back side of that crate and just wait till the blood got off my screen, but... We're going to make our way immediately back over there and try that again and see how well that spot does work out. And that's what I'm talking about. I mean, there are, there are only a few uh, alleyways that are easily covered in this map. And any time that you decide to run down there, you really got to take things a little slower. And so there's a sniper back in that one spot where I killed someone earlier. Come on, poke your head back out. Come on. There we go. Poke your head out. Damn it, how did I not kill him? I eventually want to make my way back down there again. I wasn't sure if the enemy team was going to start spawning behind us here. Because my team was rushing up pretty far. This map actually looking at it reminds me of like a speedball map on a paintball course. <laughs> if you guys ever played paintball. Looks like a speedball map. But uh, I am, this is now Sunday, so I'm hoping we're going to get a chance to play this a little bit more today. And I'm actually off from work tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get a chance to sit down and play some more tomorrow. And like I said, I'm going to try some other game types and some other maps and see if I can get a little bit better at this game. Because so I think, what is it now, the 17th? Yeah, today's the 17th, so we only got a few more weeks to go until Black Ops comes out. And I was actually thinking about it a little bit today. I may actually go Uber Nerd and go do uh, the midnight release thing and try to go pick it up that night and start playing it immediately and get some content up for you in the wee hours of the morning around here on the East Coast. 
uh, just so you guys can, uh, forever, whoever wakes up may have that day off, can get some uh, videos going right away. So we'll see if I actually decide to do that. And now that I'm safely up here on my favorite spot in this map right now, and I'm hanging out behind the crates, which gives me pretty good cover, I'm finally starting to rack up some kills. All right now we got our first kill streak, we got our mortar strike going. And let's see if we can plop that right down in their spawn area. I think I might have overshot it, I'm not sure. Oops. Damn it, another sniper rifle. Sniper rifles in this game are just absolutely beast, even compared to MW2. I mean, one or two bullets and you are toast. game does get a little bit laggy at times, too, where the screen just freezes for a second or two. I think they still need to work out a couple of the kinks with their servers. I mean, not that I've seen that many players on the PS3 servers. I think the most I've seen was in the low 20,000s in all the game types combined. So this game definitely is nowhere near as popular as uh, Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, a lot of people from what I've heard in the comments on my earlier videos that I put up on this. I guess a lot of people either weren't interested or just didn't want to put out the money for it, considering Black Ops is only a few weeks away. And I can understand that. But I know a lot of you guys were getting sick of seeing Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, so I really just wanted to try something different. And I know some people were interested in this game. So I figured, what the hell, let's pick it up and give it a shot. Yep, you're not coming up here, buddy. Right, now we got another kill streak going here, and let's plop that right back in their spawn area again, see if I have more success this time than I did last time. So I really, really just want to try to see if I can achieve those higher kill streaks. Haven't had much luck, and of course, once I got the mortar strike in, they start spawning on the other side of the map. It's not just my luck. Damn it, fell down. No higher kill streaks that time either. The recoil in, this, in the, on these guns is definitely uh, a little more difficult to control. A lot of times, even with the assault rifles, you really do need to pulse fire them if you're going to shoot them at a longer distance. Because, I mean, it is so easy to, to, to kill and get killed in this game that you really don't have to just spam like you do in, uh, you know, MW2. I mean, look at this. I'm, I'm hanging out up here, and I got a perfect vantage point almost all the way across the map. And again, picked off by a sniper. This is definitely a very sniper-friendly game. No arguments about that. And here's the perfect sniper vantage point that we looked at earlier. I mean, it gives you a view all the way across the map, down that alleyway. Uh, why don't know why map designers do that? I mean, don't they realize sometimes that they're making some things a little bit too easy? I mean, wouldn't you want things to be a little bit more difficult? I mean, do you really want those kind of sight lines all the way across the map like that? I mean, maybe they do. I just don't understand why they would want that. I, mean, I would think that would, you know, obviously frustrate a lot of players like it does me and they would consider doing something different. Thankfully, these airdrop crates right here are giving me some decent cover. And I see you. And he ducked out of the way, I can't get him. And thankfully, since he missed me, I'm not gonna make the same mistake and miss any of his teammates sitting here. And boom, that's gonna give me my mortar strike. So let's get into position to call this in. And now let's see if this mortar looks like this mortar strike is going to do a little bit better. Triple kill, alright, that's what I'm talking about. And that gives me my rocket strike. And we'll drop that right in the same spot. Couple kills. And I'm only a couple kills away from my next kill streak. I really, really want it. I don't know if I can get it. One kill away. Come on, one kill away. Two 
kill. Come on. One more kill. Let's see what the next one is. And it wasn't meant to be. Game ends. One kill away from the next kill streak. Oh well. Maybe next time. My team somehow lost the game. We got two more kills than the other guys, but we still had less points. Like I said, I really have not yet figured out how the scoring system in this game works. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Maybe I'll figure it out one of these days. But I finished up the game with a nice 28 and 8. Best score out of both teams and easily my best game by far. So I think you guys should give me a thumbs up for achieving my best score ever. I would appreciate it. So until next time guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. I will see you soon and I hope you have a good one.